Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and the flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beasts and the birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. The silver raindrops patter upon the earth today. Tip tap their knock is gentle and this is what they say. Oh little flowers waken and open wide your door. Come out in pretty dresses for spring is here once more. Where are the froggies? Where are the froggies when the north wind blows? We cannot see them through the ice and snow. Deep, deep down in the mud they lie. Froggies sleeping with tight closed eyes. When the warm spring sun comes out, Froggies wake and jump about. Oh, how happy they will be. A springtime world for them to see. Where are the turtles when the north winds blow? We cannot see them through the ice and snow. Deep, deep down in the mud they lie turtles sleeping with tight closed eyes when the warm spring sun comes out turtles wake and crawl about oh how happy they will be a springtime world for them to see where are the bears when the north winds blow? We cannot see them through the ice and snow. Snug and warm in a cave they lie. Baby bears sleeping with tight closed eyes. When the warm spring sun comes out, bears wake and jump about. How happy they will be, a springtime world for them to see. Welcome to April. April, April, the snow is gone. April, April, the flowers have come. April, April, green and brown, bells on your collar and willow on your crown. April, April, watch the sky. The showers are sweet, but soon go by. April, April, where are your leaves? Soon, soon they'll be here. For winter's gone and spring is near. Look closely, boys and girls, at the illustration. You can see the little the little man standing in the center. Half of his costume is a spring green, and a little bit of his costume looks like a winter brown. But do you see how the winter brown is changing to the spring green? A saying for April is April showers, see the rain, April showers will bring May flowers. So in the month of April, there are lots of spring rains and storms, and then there's a good amount of sunshine too. So it helps all of our seedlings grow and all the flowers come out and start to bloom. And this week we're going to be talking a lot about seeds and how seeds travel. That will be later in the week. 
We're also going to be talking about something special happening tomorrow night. There is a pink moon happening tomorrow night. So we'll talk about some more moon phases. Let's do our calendar right now. Since we are in a new month, and this is the month of April. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of our year. So if we listen to that little rhyme, what number, what month, what number month is April in our calendar? January, February, March, April. April is the fourth month in our calendar year. Several days have gone by since we have last had our lesson, so let's catch our calendar up. And here we are, Monday, April the 6th. Yesterday was April the, can you guess? I've already taken the number off, but it's the number that comes before six. Okay. And then tomorrow will be April the 7th. The number after six is seven. Today is April the 6th. I am at my house today in my attic and looking out my window, I see that the weather gnomes say that it's partly sunny. There's some clouds in the sky. And then I would say there are a fair amount of clouds out right now. So we will put the cloudy gnome out and the partly sunny gnome out for our weather today. Yesterday on a walk with my dogs, Huckleberry and Ollie, I found a very special springtime treasure that you really only find at this time of the year. I'm going to hold it up really close to the camera. Does anybody know what bird laid this egg? If you said a robin, you are right. Robins lay eggs that are the most beautiful color blue I've ever seen. And I found this egg on the ground in a bush and on the other side was a tiny little hole. Now what little animal do you think might have made that hole? I looked around and the nest was not anywhere. There were no other baby robin eggs. It was a, a mystery. I did not know how this egg was just laying there in the bush. I do not know what animal made this little hole, but I felt very, very lucky because most of the egg is intact. You don't normally find it whole robin eggs like this. So that was my very exciting springtime treasure that I found and wanted to share with you. Have you been on a walk lately and found some neat springtime treasures? I would love to see them. Let's get ready for our sight word. You will need to have your arm ready to tap. Ollie is making the camera move. I'm going to ask Ollie. Ollie! You'll need to have your arm ready to tap and you'll need to have your sand tray 
I do not have my sand tray with me today. So I'm going to make the letters in the air with you, but you will need to have your sand tray. We're going to start fresh with brand new words this week. Our word today is with, W-I-T-H, with, W-I-T-H, with. I like to go with my dogs on a walk. What is a sentence? that you can think of using the word with. You can share those um, in your journal. You can make a video of your sentence and share it on our Facebook page. Think of a fun way you would like to share your sight word sentence with us. And then you'll also need to make it in your sand tray. Right, we've got a little poem that we're going to learn today and then we're going to um, do a journal prompt for our lesson. So I'm going to show you, some of you might already know how to tie a bow, but some of you might just be learning this skill and learning to tie is very, very important. So I'm going to show you how you can make a little tie frame at your house. I'm going to use a piece of wood. You can use a block. You can use um, a chair arm. You can do it on your table. But you'll need to find a base of something. So I'm going to use some wood. And I have two pieces of ribbon that are different colors. I have blue and I have orange. And I'm going to tape them onto the center of my base. So you'll need tape. Just tape it onto the center. So it sticks like this. And I'm going to read to you a poem that will help you remember all the steps needed to tie a bow. <laughs> bow tying. How to make a bow, I know. Take each end and make a bridge. Cross one over and under the other. Once each is on the other side, they can wave and say, hi, brother. Next to their sister, loop de loo round about, under, and all the way through, Pull so carefully as you know, each loop de loo makes a lovely bow. Bow tying. How to make a bow, I know. Take each end and make a bridge. Cross one over and under the other. Once each is on the other side, they can wave and say, hi, brother. Next to their sister, Loop de Lou. Round about, 
and all the way through, pull so carefully as you know, each loop de loo makes a lovely bow. That is something that you can practice today on your shoes, on your tennis shoes, or on some pieces of ribbon. And you can make your own tying frame. Now it's time to get your journal. Great big marker board here. everyone can see. Yeah, wow, this is really big, huh? All right. Once you've got your journal, you'll need something to write with. I need something to write with. Aha. Okay. Let's get ready to write the date. We will do, um, let's practice writing all three ways to write the date since we're in a new month. So, the long way. Capital A. Long line. And a circle. P. R is a short line. And a little hook at the top. R. I is a short line with a dot. And L is a long line. April. And we said today was April the 6th. Take the 6th, start at the top, go down and around, and finish up with a little loop. April 6th. Don't forget your little TH. April 6th, and our year is 2020. It's always going to be hard for me to write upside down. <laughs> that is the long way of writing the date. An abbreviated way, if you want to abbreviate April, the abbreviation is A, capital A, P, long line and a circle, R, short line and a hook, dot. That is the abbreviation for April. April 6th, 6, 50H, and our year, 2000. 20. Okay, so there are two different ways to write the date. And then the last way, the most abbreviated way. So, so since April is the fourth month of the year, we would write a four because that stands for April four slash and today's day which is the sixth so we need to write a six slash 2020 all right that is the most abbreviated way to write the date Today in your journal, it's been a while since we've come together. It's been a long time since we've seen each other, but it has been a whole week since we've had um, a kindergarten lesson. So I'd like to know what you've been doing. I'd like to know how you've been spending your days at home with your family or with your babysitters. Um, and I'd really like to know how your new responsibility is going that you journaled about, I think the last time we journaled. I'd love to hear about how that's going. I'd love to hear about um, 
what you've been doing and your favorite part about our new season of spring, our new month of April. Just tell me something that you have enjoyed doing lately um, with your family. And I'd love to see your journaling um, on our Facebook page. It's a great way to share with everyone. Um, our lesson tomorrow will be a lesson on the pink moon that will rise in the nighttime sky tomorrow. And so we're going to do some moon art. For that, you will need to have some black paper if you have it. Um, if you don't have black paper, maybe you could find some black fabric or some dark blue paper, but you'll need some black paper, construction paper. Um, you'll need some aluminum foil and you'll need some pink paint. Now, if you don't have pink paint, there are two colors you can use to mix to make pink. I wonder if you can think about what you can add to the color red. What color can you add to red to make pink? And that's what you'll need to mix up um, to do our art activity for tomorrow. Um, so I will see you all tomorrow morning. I've given with my heart and mind the effort that it needs, and I will strive in me to find good thoughts, good words, good deeds. Our work is done, our day has passed, we'll go our separate ways, and I will hold so tight and fast what I have learned today. Have a great Monday.